Justified Season 6, Episode 11, Fugitive Number 1. Now, for anyone who may not have seen my review for the last episode, I mentioned that with this being the final season, a lot of crazy stuff has been going down as far as with the villains, it's pretty much either they're dying or they're going to jail. And this episode was an extremely perfect example of that, where we lost three people in one episode. Like, we had Boyd kill, Boy kill off Carl, which was crazy. Like, I thought, you know, they're going to get out and work together and maybe Carl would die in the aftermath, but they'd go after Markham and kill him and figure stuff out from there. I knew he wasn't going to give him half his money. I knew that for sure, but I'm like, something's going to happen. They're going to get out of here. But it's just like, Boyd's like, nope, boom, he kills him. He kills him off. Hale goes to see Wynn and try to kill him. I thought that was going to happen for sure. And then, of course, Mikey gets in front of that and is like, you know, maybe we can let him go and fend for himself and, you know, basically get killed off like that. And then, you know, he's trying to convince her not to kill him in front of him. She's like, oh, screw this. And then she just shoots through him. And then he had, like, the most badass death, like, I think this series has ever had. I mean, there, I think there was one maybe last season as well, I think, um... Dewey's cousin, uh, who's played by Michael Rappaport, I can't remember his actual his character's name, I think he had a cool death too, if I remember right, but, man, Mikey went out, like, he took basically all six shots from the gun, and he survived, and then I did not think that he was actually going to kill her off, I thought what was going to happen was that he would eventually, he would die, and she would use up all the bullets, and then Wynn would actually be able to get out before she was able to grab Mikey's gun and basically put the clip back in. And, you know, things would kind of just go from there however they went. But Mikey actually killed her before he died. Like, technically, she died before he even did because he hit her in the throat and actually killed her. And that was a complete shock to me. And so she ends up being killed off. Um, Mikey dies. Wynn calls the police. So I guess Wynn is actually going to survive because he's kind of... With him having called the police, I'm sure he decided to go into protective custody himself just to, you know, try to hold back on everything that's going down, especially now that the info's kind of out there. So, I feel like he might live. We might get to see his final appearance in this show. I don't think this was it. I think they'll have a complete resolution where it's like, you know, after everything's done, maybe in the final episode or maybe just before it, it's like, you're done here, you know, You'll be fine. You'll be clear to this, these charges or whatever. Go off. Don't get in trouble again. And then, you know, he'll be out. But it was just insane to see that stuff happen. And then, you know, Carl having been killed off, his brother's kind of left alone. But he's going to be put in protective custody. Um, he, of course, won't get the chance to kill Markham off. Although, he, uh, like, granted, Markham was the one that sent his brother there and kind of forced his hand because he said Boone would shoot his little brother. But obviously it was Boyd. Like, Boyd is the whole reason that happened to begin with. Like, Raylan mentioned, like, Markham is the reason that, you know, his own fiancé was killed. It's really Boyd's fault that, you know, Carl was killed. Like, they could have easily worked together or something. And if he hadn't set him up, that wouldn't have happened to begin with, obviously. So, it's really on Boyd. Like, I don't know if that'll even really play a, a big part um, in any future episodes, but... It was just crazy losing three characters in one episode. Um, two of which I did think were going to die. Like, the one guy I thought was going to die, and I think it was just so unbelievably well written. Like, that was a huge twist. It's like, alright, I think the character everyone expects to die off is like, wynn has been busted, Mikey betrayed him, and it's like, you know, he's done for. He's locked up, He's he's in these handcuffs, he's tied to... Like, the metal portion of the table, it's not like he's just going to rip out of that or something. He's tied down to this, or handcuffed to it. Hale comes in, she's got the gun to him, and it's just like, like, when is going to die? And then the other two people end up fighting each other and killing each other off, and he gets to escape. He gets out of there. I can't exactly say Scott Free, because, you know, he obviously cared a lot about Mikey, regardless of the fact that, you know, Mikey did kind of want to turn him over because of his cold and everything and it was just crazy and then of course the stuff with Boyd that was just kind of that was just messed up in general like the stuff between Mikey and Hale that like them doing that it was like okay I could see that happening like you have a change of judgment or not exactly change of judgment but you don't want to see 
this guy that you work for who's your boss and who you consider to be the closest thing you had to family just killed off despite your code so that kind of made sense he didn't want to exactly just let him go scot-free but he didn't want his brains blown out like right in front of him that still would have hurt him too much and then she's just like i don't give a crap about either of you and then she just shoots him like she didn't even waste the time so that kind of set things off of course and that made sense and boyd was just like just messed up like what he did and just killed his man off and took off and now he's you know in the whole get up he's got the sheriff co um sheriff car I don't know who that was that he followed in the truck. Maybe I didn't recognize Boone or something, but I have no idea who the heck that was in the truck that he followed. And maybe he just followed a random truck that was coming across the road or whatever, and that was the only one uh, that came across because it was the same type of truck, I believe, it was, or at least it was just a pickup truck. And he knew if I get this money back, this is kind of what I need to do it, or I guess, or whatever. Maybe it was just how they did it. It's the first car to uh, come across him, and that was his plan to... Uh, get the money back was to put it in that type of truck again but that was all craziness just insane stuff uh, Raylan going to see Markham and Boone at the pizza portal was definitely one of the best parts with Boone when he was standing there I thought Raylan was definitely about to put him down like it seemed like he was out of nowhere like if he has to put him down that would be like a huge ramped up moment but you know, we're still going to have to wait for that. Because I know that's coming. If it's not, and if it's not Raylan, that would be an even bigger twist. Um, and I can't believe I just remember this. I couldn't remember her name at all. And then I just pulled it out of nowhere. But if Loretta was the one to kill Boone, that would also be amazing. Like, even if it wasn't Raylan and they didn't have that insane, you know, quick draw moment. If Loretta did it, that would be the perfect substitute. And I'd be totally fine with that. But I thought they were about to... I thought that it was about to go down there. He's like, you know, don't you just love this moment? Like, you could hear a pin drop and stuff, and it was just a great moment. Uh, Raylan saying, like, he liked his hat and stuff. I thought it was pretty cool, too. It was just like they had the little conversation, and, um, you know, it kind of ends and everything's kind of calm, and, like, Raylan laughs, and even Markham laughs, and he's like, you know, um, you know, my, my balls are so blue, they're purple or whatever, and he's like, so just, like, just stay where I can see you. And it was just a crazy scene, like, I thought I thought it was about to happen right there, even though there's really no need for it. But that's just how Boone is. Like he, he knows who the enemies are, and he'll 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 start it off real quick. He'll just I gotta draw on you, or at least I think I have to. Until he says no, I'm gonna have my hand on my gun, and I'm gonna draw. If you know, if you decide you want to draw right now, so that was an amazing little scene. And then of course, we got to see Ava with her uncle. We didn't get an exact explanation, but. They don't have to have one. I mean, he got out of the mines. They said he was turned around, but he wasn't. He he got the heck out of there. He probably had his own route or something like that. Or it was just he knew one of the old exits or something like that, and he just took off the long way. And that's really it. So they didn't need to explain it. I'm totally fine that they didn't, and he just kind of showed up. She found him. They're off in the mountains trying to escape. They go to find the guy that everyone's like, you know, we'll go to him. He'll help us escape. And, of course, we find out at the end of this episode this guy's been dead for who knows how long. He's been dead for months for sure because his body, they had it where he was like almost skeleton. It was still like a little bit of skin, but it was like tight on the bone. So this guy's been dead for months, like most of the year really. He's been dead and they go in and it's just like, this was the plan to get out of here. And now they don't have that anymore. They have this big effing um sled full, full of money that they they were carrying uphill they got helicopters flying all over them and stuff um odds are with the search radius being changed to uh the little cabin that they were in temporarily it can't be that hard to find the guy in the woods like even without Raylan, he got that information from carl's brother even without that stuff they got this search radius going on with helicopters if they see a house it's like well we saw this, so we went up there. Look at this random house we found when we were, you know, flying over the forest. Let's check this out. It's a nice random place. They may have seen it. You know, let's go there. So they really have to get out of there quick. And I doubt they're going to be fast enough because Raylan's going to, all he has to do is call that junk in. Like, he's going to call it in. Or, well, he's going to go himself. He's not going to say anything because he's trying to, uh, kind of do things his own way because he knows that he he wants to help Ava and 
kind of just he wants to do everything his way and that's that's how Raylan is in certain cases and this is definitely the case where he's gonna do it himself it's the final one of course I mean obviously it's we know that because it's the series the final uh season but just for the show it's just his character so it still makes perfect sense but I'm not sure where he's gonna go I mean they have it there was a cool little ending scene where it's like he has 48 hours now and you know he's just off in the night he he puts his badge and stuff in the car so it's gonna get crazy and I, I can't wait to watch these last couple episodes. I think there are only uh, three left or so. I, I want to say there are about three left. I'm looking now because I, I shouldn't because it's our, almost 3 o'clock in the morning. But I really want to watch the next episode um, before I go to sleep. Even though I have a ton of time tomorrow to do it. I Like the episodes, it's the last four. So it's like, it's getting way too good for me to just be like, yeah, I'll just go to sleep and watch it tomorrow. But this is definitely... A, crazy crazy episode kind of sad like it, bonding with these characters even as the villains it's kind of sad to see some of them get killed off like um mikey for sure because mikey was in there i think he yeah he's been in there since the first season i think when and mikey were there from the very beginning of the show just you know in the rv they meet up with raylan or he comes there or whatever they've had several crazy moments especially um the season before last, so um, I guess it would be season four, I believe, was when they had, like, the guy, and he was, like, the albino and stuff, and he kind of worked particularly with Wynn, so I think that was when he really had a lot of different moments in the season, um, or I should say, like, in the series in general, that's when I think he had the most moments, because he was working with that guy, so they would go, you know, all over the place with each other, but, you know, it's crazy to see him go surprising to see hell get killed off by mikey in like this crazy you know fight where he gets shot like six times like he's having terminator or something and he ends up killing her with like just a hard hit to the throat takes her down um boy killing off carl was a surprise and i believe carl's been in it for two seasons i think he came in in the last season maybe it was the season before that but you know he he became the second in command it was boyd's cousin who until he betrayed him but you know i think he's been in it for about three seasons now and it was like there he goes like boy just kills him off and it's it's everyone like the only person that will probably live is like the one character that got introduced this season and that's gonna be carl's little brother boy's probably gonna get killed off um ava may or may not get killed off i feel like boyd and ava are the two sort of mystery things like because they really could go either way for both of them where Raylan kind of brings it all together and it's like he either arrests them both he arrests he's able to kind of get Ava and she only gets arrested because I don't think there's any I mean there's no way for her to really just go back to being a CI she's done with that she's trying to take off with the money so odds are he's going to just try to arrest her might end up killing her uncle off or something like that so you know that could happen and then with Boyd I have to assume it's going to be like a crazy guns blazing battle between him and Raylan because that's kind of just it's the two you know polar opposites of the series but it's just getting crazier and crazier I definitely love this episode of course I want to know what you guys thought about it so please comment below and let me know your favorite parts your least favorite parts and of course with us losing three characters in this episode um I want to know which one was the most surprising to you because for me um, I kind of have to put it into a combo, even though it's kind of unfair um, to do that with three separate characters. The fact that they kill off two who fought each other, and it was like, you know, like I mentioned, oh, you know, Wynn was busted, he's going to die, and then it ends up being the other two people in the room instead of him, or I should say in the RV. But instead of him being killed off, which was the obvious thing, not just one other person or the woman who's coming in to kill him, not does she only get killed off, but the other person who rats him out, they kill each other off, and it was just a complete shock. So for me, um, it's hard not to just lump them into one, because obviously they both died in the same scene. So, but, you know, if you chose one, like if I had to pick one, it would still be Mikey, because he was the character I knew the longest. Like, with Carl, it was still surprising, and that was due to the fact that it was Boyd who did it, and he just had no remorse. And... It's like he's getting to that point where it's like, I have to protect my own, and it's him and Ava, and that's it. 
and right now it's pretty much just him considering what Ava did to him so it's really just him at this point and he's never been pushed so far and you know he kills off one of his buddies and so that was like you know oddly enough that was the second to me just because of the fact that Boyd did it and we've never seen him really push to that point like with Dewey it was like Dewey always screws up and he's always messing up and it's like you know he felt he couldn't trust him and it was like okay well it kind of makes sense no matter whether it was trust as far as him snitching or trust as far as him just not screwing up yet another huge huge plan it just that one made sense and then this one also made sense because of him trying to survive himself but it was just like boom and he killed you know he killed the second in command basically so if I had to put it in order it would be Mikey one Carl second and then Hell third but Obviously, all three of them are just like, holy crap. But I want to know which one you guys would pick if you had to pick one. Um, obviously, I clumped them together. So if you had to, you know, clump them together, um, you know, Mikey and Hale killing each other off is just one thing in itself. And you count that as just like one character moment. I'm totally fine with that. But I do want to know what you guys thought about it. So please comment below, let me know. And thanks for watching.